Hello everyone! Hello! We are Riggy Robin Pimsy. And welcome to another game that we have taken literal years to get around to playing. Something that's interesting is that the colours on the screen are showing on the remote. Now we can't show you this, but it is changing as it goes. Yes, the light bar in the DualShock 4 is changing. Yeah. Um, so this is a colour puzzle adventure game. Uh, colours will be very important and yeah, what you might want to turn the music down to about 85, uh, 80%. Yeah, 80% will be fine. I do the same with sound as well, yeah. I did notice a slight... Colourblind? <laughs> so that adds icons to the colours in case you are, of course, colourblind. Oh, that's clever, I like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly, it makes sense, right? Yeah. Um, so this is a game by mm. Dan DeRocker and Henry Hoffman, who are both based in the UK. Okay, so it's just, it's just John. Wait, is there any more buttons? Not, not just yet. You'll get more colours to play around with later. Um, boing, I'd like to give boing, a thank you to boing, Curve Digital boing. for giving us the review code for this Dearest. four years ago. Dearest Hugh. Oh, I've had the most, oh, dreadful, had the most dreadful, 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 dreadful look. Wait, hang on. I feel terrible that you oh, left alone this Ooh, time. I did not know that. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of colour. Some call them impossible colours. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Grey, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering coloured shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this coloured plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the coloured tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. Is that her? Oh wow. We've got imaginary idiot here. Hey, hi, hello. Hello, imaginary idiot. Hello. Thanks for joining the stream. How are you doing today? That <laughs> looks like a piece. I was not expecting this game to have voice acting. Neither was I. So the angular spectrum then controls all colour. Well, visible colour, I guess. And we've got our villain with Mr. Grey as well. Alright, well, that's a decent setup for this game. So basically, all I know about this is that it's a puzzle adventure game that is based around switching colours around. Well, I mean, that's good, right? Because it feels smooth. Um, ah, square. So. Oh, so it's not voice active for everything, okay. The fisherman caught a glimpse of something unusual. Down past the lighthouse. Ooh, okay. So that's the lighthouse. Oh wait, is this the lighthouse? That's the lighthouse, right? That's the lighthouse. Aha! The first colour. Sweet. Praise the blue. Okay. Ooh, Ooh. very pretty. Aqua Cadabra, what a great... We're living in a blue world. Okay, uh, that kills no, you. I, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think you can survive jumping into the ocean. Can't swim. But we've now got a nice bright blue sky. Yo, listen, here's a story about a little guy who lives in the blue world. Wait, hang on a second. Uh-huh. There is a letter there. Oh, there is. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? This, this is why we're here. You've got a cousin called Hugh. We're getting very philosophical in this, like... We've had arguments in the past about what shade of colour a certain colour is and whether it, it wasn't counts as- It was an argument. You it... are just a fool. No, it was an argument because you refused to accept that you were incorrect. It wasn't incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Oh, hello. You got a thing floating above. Mm. What is that? Oh, oh, uh, I can't don't reach be able, Can't reach that just yet? No. Oh, oh. Imaginary Idiot says, doing fine but a bit bummed out and stressed. The whole country is basically on lockdown because of Corona. Yeah, so same I've been here. magnificently bored. Well, actually, no, it's not quite the same here because. It, it kind of is. 
It kind of is, but we've not had any official thing saying this is meaning everything's getting closed down. Um, it's we just did. advice. Just... No, today. Yes, today. Mr. Boris. Mr. Boris said, we advise you, but they're not stopping, they're not closing shops, they're not stopping people from going out to places that aren't like big gatherings, you know? Bumbling Boris. So yeah, everyone is, uh, everyone's still free to do what they want, especially your nan. Oh. I need her to stay in the house. Uh huh, uh huh. She's We've also got in. Cthulhu Void here that says, Hu, 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 be a good night, I guess. Uh, yes, good night. Uh, but thanks for tuning in for however long it may be. <laughs> Hello! You, is that you? Thank goodness, I've been trapped for days. Help me get out of here. I keep hearing noises, it's creeping me out. So, when you use the right stick, you can match the colour to the colour of the obstacle. And it disappears. Oh, cool, okay. The rocks, the rocks, they... They just disappeared. I don't know how you did it. Who cares? I'm saved. Thank you. Showing true colors. And I see your true colors shining oh, yeah. through. See your true colors. Oh, I was going to marry all. Oh, never mind. Well, you can't. And that's why I love you, so don't be afraid to let me. Okay, so we're not allergic to water. No, it's just when you jump into the sea, there's nowhere for you to go, really. Okay, so like that. Match the colours! Let off. When you enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations. To pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. Yeah, she's got a good point, you know. If waterfalls are made of the colour blue, but then blue doesn't exist as a concept, what's a waterfall? Imaginary Idiot says, In Belgium, every school and university, every library, gym, nightclub, and similar social things and stores on weekends are closed. Lovely situation, really. Oh, blue. and the entirety of restaurants, too. Waterfalls are only blue because of the um, the reflection of the sky. Yes, that. Don't play I too close to the water now. Oh, yeah, because you die. But you have the power to change the colours. Yeah, it looks like uh, you guys in Belgium have been locked down quite a bit then. Um, America, too, I think. Is it, is it America that's locked down? I think they've announced a state of national emergency, but I'm not so sure whether it's actually saying you are not allowed to go into these places. I'm not sure. Aha! We have the classic pulling of boxes puzzle time. Sweet. And obviously this game will get a bit more complex later on when you've got more colours to play around with, switching between them and so on. So. Obviously, we're playing this just before Animal Crossing New Horizons comes yeah, out. Yeah, I'm so excited. This is a relatively short game compared to, you know, the stuff we usually play, but I think it'll be, you know, quite nice, you know, having this type of thing. Well, how are we going to do this? How indeed. Oh, oh. I think you've almost figured it out. Aha! Did I do it? Safe! Well done, well done. But I don't want to kill myself, so... Um, okay. Hmm. Yeah, you can just jump across safely. Imaginary, it says, I, th I admit it's better than three weeks of medium lockdown... Uh, oh, sorry. Three weeks of medium lockdown now is better than whatever is going on in Italy. Well, I'll just leave the collapse of society to the side and enjoy this nice music. Yeah, it's quite pleasant, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, no. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Go. Go to the left. Yes. Yeah, I didn't think about yeah. that. But you know, this is doing a good job of slowly introducing to you to the new concepts of hey, when you match stuff to the colours, you may want to uh, think about what's going to happen when you do that. Ta-da! Oh. More ladders. All right, Indiana Jones time. Hmm. Nah, they're not gonna let you get away with that. 
Go, Indiana Jones! Uh. Yeah. See, you got it. Yeah, I think it's nice having... <laughs> I think it's nice having this, you know, relaxing, chill game to I play. I died. Uh, yes, I, I, we saw. We all saw. Uh, it's nice to be able to escape from, you know, the realities of what is happening in the, in the real world. Oh, come on! You know, you can probably just fall straight off and then just hug the wall on the right-hand side, yeah? Um, that's why I'm thinking coronavirus is uh, a, a good time for me to get into Animal Crossing. Yes, because you will have... Oh, those are collectibles. I see, I see. Uh, uh, yeah, good question. What are you supposed to do here? Don't know. Well, the thing is, is that when it comes to, like, you know, the new game releases that are coming out, Animal Crossing is probably a very good one to spend a lot of your time playing because... Oh, yeah, you avoided the boulder before. Uh, because, you know, Doom Eternal comes out on the same day, right? But it'll be done relatively quickly compared to Animal Crossing, which is a game you could, in theory, play forever. Yeah, indefinite. Why, why am I not moving? Because you need to see... Escape from reality with brutal impalement and being crushed by boulders. Yeah. Yeah, well. Purple! And now you can actually switch between colours. Cool. Is it going to do it in the right order? No, it's not. What do you mean? Okay. It should be doing it in the colour wheel. But Shrinking not. violet. Well, I think the, the, the colour wheel that they've got here is kind of, you know, made for the game Not what standard. feels most natural, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, what could you do? Aha! See, hidden doors. I, I changed the colour. Mm -hmm. Did you see? I, I, I figured saw, it out. I saw. Did you know, Hugh, that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum? It's the hardest colour for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. A colour beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colours. Magenta's one. And I fear that this... Mm -hmm. This is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception... So yellow. And you cannot perceive me, do I even exist mm, It's not, is it? Mm -hmm. I thought sure yellow was on the visible I mean, se spectrum. You're reading this letter, or... Or well, maybe at least I hope you I don't are. Know. I'm sorry, but... Existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. You're right about magenta being not a real colour because what's happening is your brain is filling in the blanks, basically. Uh, because red and blue are on opposite sides of the visible spectrum. Is that going to make But I'm pretty sure yellow okay, you can right, see. Yeah, yeah. It was a good test, though. Good test. Go back, no. no. You almost got it. There you go. Color is oh, magic. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, right, so you don't actually have to. Okay, right, so you kind of do that, or you do that. Right, okay, got it. Ah, here we go. You can't see both blue and yellow at the same time. I, I was going to say, I thought it was an impossible colour. Uh, and you can't see red and green at the same time. It's basically because they're on... Uh, let's see... Da, 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 da. Uh. There are forbidden colours that would be seen if the signals processed at the brain's visual cortex from the retina's three types of cone cells could be set to combinations which the eye does not produce, whatever colour or colours of light it is exposed to. Uh, there are chimerical colours. They are not seen as a direct response to any output from oh, a single shit. retinal location, but can be generated in the visual cortex by mixing successive colour signals from one location, or simultaneous signals from two locations or from two eyes. 
Examples are yellowish blue, seen as similar both to yellow and blue, and reddish green, similar both to red and green. Hmm? Ah, mid jump is the thing here, yes. Because. Oh, was it. So. Got it. Right, when you jump up into the air, hold the right stick. So just. What? So jump up in the end, hold right stick. So time slows down for you. Okay. So you can use that. To I've time just jumps. been going like that. I like, know, I know, but I, I had a feeling time would stop for you if you needed it to. But like here, you need to have it be purple. Oh no, you need Why? you need to be blue. No, I need it to be purple. No, you need it to be blue. What? What? You need it to be blue. Why? Right. And then you move to where the crate would be. Move to where the crate would be. Right? Now jump up into the air and switch to purple. There you go. Time slows down enough for you to do that. See? This is such a clever game. Uh, I have a feeling that this game was kind of overshadowed a little bit, somewhat. What? I mean, by what? Well, the fact that it's an indie game, right? Like, you know, doesn't have a lot of like marketing push behind it. It was put on PlayStation Plus in 2017, so if you had PlayStation Plus then, you might have this on your PlayStation. Um, but I think this game kind of got. It's got an unfavorable comparison to Wonder Song, which uses a same color wheel concept, but uses music instead. So, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say, obviously. I mean, I'm talk might be talking out my ass, but I feel like this is underappreciated as a game. Like Clockwork. Uh, Imaginary Eater says, sorry for the radio silence, my internet connection died, but magenta, yes. We were talking about impossible colours. So there are two types. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass, surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. Hmm. University professor. Uh, magenta is more violent? No, I don't think so. I'm not sure though, I won't be able to say. Reaper's here that says, hey, it's me, Reaper, on the third day of official lockdown. Tomorrow is my first day of working from home. Well, I hope everything's going okay with that. Uh, I think... We do this one. Yes, you've, you've been here. Oh. Well, you've got the colour purple now, so you can change stuff around. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope it's going okay uh, in your lockdown. Ooh, new places to explore. All right. Here in the UK, we're not quite at the same level. We are going to be in the next We're going to be days. soon, but not quite yet. Dr. Gray soon became my assigned mentor, and I can't help but feel he somehow had a hand in it. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. We discovered more about colour than I could ever have imagined. We split light, mapped spectrums, we painted. We laughed. We worked long hours, and soon our goal became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us, and we knew it. Hmm. Imaginary it says, I actually really quite like Magenta for a pretty dumb reason too. What's the dumb reason? There's no dumb reasons for no liking colours. No such thing as a dumb reason. Yeah, exactly. And Reaper says, if everything goes like they told me today, that means the VPN that the client provides us to be able to connect to SVN and run projects will not work. 
so I will be doing something else. My flatmate that works at another company but for the same client couldn't do anything today. Wow. See, I'm quite lucky that the, the company that I work for has the infrastructure in place for working, in home, working at home already. Uh, but I can imagine if... Oh, you can push those crates. Interesting. I'd imagine if you don't have that infrastructure already in place, this is a... Uh, Pretty, Boring pretty, pretty clearly showing the need for that kind of stuff in this interconnected world we live in nowadays. I can't speak because I'm obviously, mm -hmm. I'm Ooh. so reliant on uh, working with, mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. others. Like, nice, well done. Uh... My flatmate played Pokemon or read a book. Oh, I mean, if you're getting paid to do that, then you can't complain, right? But at the same time, chances are you're probably a bit more concerned about am I going to continue to get paid for doing this kind of stuff? And yeah, that can be a problem. Imaginary it says, when I was in primary school, my teacher had us make Christmas cards with pretty colours. Mine was magenta. And the other boys laughed, so I said screw them and began liking magenta out of spite. Yeah, you hear every now and then about, um, you know, Oh, you shouldn't like red, that's a girly colour, that. And it's like, well, no, red's quite a popular colour. Um, magenta, I would imagine, quite similar situation, you know. I love it's, magenta. It's a nice colour. Absolutely love magenta. Yeah, you can like whatever colours you want. You know, don't feel bad about it, you know? But yeah, I can see that being something that perhaps they would try to make fun of you for. But no, I agree. You take the thing that they're trying to make fun of you for and you turn it into something that you really, really do enjoy. Uh, Doors? Uh, oh, right, yeah. Ta da! <laughs> I think the torches signify that there's a door nearby. Hmm. Ooh, okay. I have an idea. What is your idea? My idea is this. Uh huh. I don't know. Sorry, that's my idea. What is your idea? This is my idea. Nicely done. You think it's a good idea? Mm hmm. Okay. Pretty sure this is probably one of the intended ways to solve the puzzle. I'm not sure how many different ways there are to solve the puzzle. Don't know. Oh, wait, oh no, you're it's... stuck! No, it's that one. I know, yeah, you have to jump over the box. You have to be on the other side. There you go. Now you can do it. There we go. Ta-da! Magenta is also a song from the Japanese Utaiti and singer Nano. Utaiti is a person who covers Vocaloid. Oh, okay. Interesting. I would have thought that... Oh, a person who covers Vocaloids. I see. Oh, I would, I would have thought oh, they'd just be okay, uh, okay. idols, right? Right, okay. So what do I need to do mm -hmm. is go here, and go here, and yeah. go to this. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, okay. I, I see, I see. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, that works. I think you want it to be offset to the other side so that you can jump from the purple one to the door. Oh, shit. Well, that's fine. You've got, the, the, you've got the concept. You just need to push them a little bit further to the right. Oh, but then how can I... Oh, we were jumped. There you are. You just change it to orange or... No, because oh. then there won't be anything there. Uh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Hmm. That's what I was... Yeah. Okay, well, you need to be able to see where... Oh, no, 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 I know exactly what what it is. Uh-huh. I've just got them, I've got them. Oh, change the order around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand. I understand. You understand. Yeah, yeah, That's, that's the problem. Mm-hmm. This one, no, Goes a little bit. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Hold on, let's move it, like, here. Pimsy's brain's short-circuiting right now. 
I suggest to put the orange under the cyan, cyan under purple, and purple under orange. Curse my slow typing. Uh, the, wait, no, hold on. You need uh, to swap the orange and the purple. I, no, I need to go here and then I need to do, wait, no, hang on, that one. And I can push this one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,